<laughs> guys, so let me, guys, so let me cover something up. So you're probably like, what is this? What is it like? So, first up, we are not building the bed. I'm going to start with that, and then we'll get to the outside. <laughs> like, a lot going on in my head right now. I'm still in the processing stage. I'll get to that in a sec. But we, because I am going to be teaching a little girl uh, in our family dance and stuff, we decided for safety for her and just for, like, the best thing is not to build the bed because of the reasoning of that it's the best thing for everyone because I'm constantly dancing all the time and even though I could kind of dance underneath it kind of limits me on how high my weight can go and that's not good also for safety of the whole girl because we don't know if she's going to be coming over here and doing it and we're doing it through FaceTime or Zoom and also with yeah so we aren't building the bed but I'm gonna get to this also like sorry the vlog didn't get uploaded last night I'm about to upload it after you but I was too outside I had to tell you about this so Yesterday, at the end of the vlog, I started talking about how Abby does Zoom classes and that I really wish I could be in it, but my parents, and like, they're kind of like at the point where they're not realizing the talent that I have to the fullest amount. They don't understand. Uh, I have straight up talent and I've been told by like an actual dance teacher that said with a little bit of work, I could be out there like she pretty much pretty much said that I'm professional level or well, almost on leaps turns and and a lot of jumps and stuff and that meant a lot to me like so much and now I'm sorry I'm like I don't I'm just excited for something like I don't know like at the point I'm a wreck. But at the end of I went like, well, oh, and they want to wait till like COVID's done before we sign up for dance classes. So we went, so this morning, and actually I need to say thank you to a lot of you guys, to my fans. There are some names that I'm going to specifically call out. Um, Mariah, I'm pretty sure. Um, Jean or some J E N N Y underscore I'm pretty sure it's underscore Nicole T or some and underscore N I C O L E T A underscore X And then, E L E N E R Z Z Z. Um, also. PCS girls. Um, I'm not going to say that one. It's a family number. Thank you to my family, by the way. And also thank you to Abby Lee Miller. Because this kind of wouldn't be possible. PCS girl fan page. Which is actually PCS girl. Um, but they have like a second account or something. And to my sister, like, thank you to, um,
Okay. O F A D T U N E S S O. And is there anyone else? I'm Jojo Siva, Tom Siva, Mark something or other. It's Mark Bone or some Five Crew, Jessalyn Siva, Tom Siva. Um, anything else? Anyone else? Okay, no one else. Okay, we're good. But shout out to all of those people. Because you all kind of inspire me a lot of the times. I'll get, like, DMs and stuff from fans being, like, in line, you're talented or, like, they're just really encouraging and, like, they're really nice. And I love, anytime you DM me, I do try to reply unless it is inappropriate or rude or a bad word or you know, or like not family friendly, then you just get blocked. But, you know, but I try to reply to everyone that uh, DMs me anything nice or something that's just like, hey, like not really, like not really over the top nice, but it's also, like, it's not rude. Like, you know, like things like, hey, okay, like simplify things. And, but, I was talking a lot how I went to do the Abby Lee Zoom classes and that it wasn't that my parents will let it work out and like all of this stuff and it was becoming too much. It was kind of just at the point to where Like, it's really cool. Like, this, so we basically this morning, thanks to a lot of my fans, because you guys really encourage me, and sometimes that pushes me to do the next thing in my career, and it pushes me to really step up and follow my dreams and that sort of stuff. And that's incredible. Like, incredible. And this time it pushed me further in that is unbelievably so incredible and it's allowed me to mark something off of my like goals which is to meet someone famous and that technically I'm not meeting them in person but through Zoom. I wanna say thank you, so let me explain what this you couldn't find anything for the dance classes through Zoom, the Abby Lee dance classes through Zoom, but we found one for a master class. So Abby, Gian, and one other teacher, I forget who it is, is Um, pretty much is doing a master class on March 7th and from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. ALDC. In, like, it's a master class thing. I am registered. And this, here it is. If you are interested, because there's still, like, a few days left to register, I'm pretty sure. Be sure, um, and you're worried about price, I am gonna tell you the price right here, because it was $49.99, so kind of pricey for a three hour class, but here's the thing, if you are a parent or an adult and you are watching this and you're like, is this something for my kids? Like, I'm worried that that's kind of pricey. 
worship dance is expensive. And I would recommend it for your kid because your kid, Abby, for those who don't know who Abby Lee Miller is, first up, you're living under a rock. Second up, look her up, but I'm going to tell you, she is a famous dance teacher. She had her own show at one point called Dance Moms, and she has a YouTube channel, a Twitter, or um, an Instagram, which is the real at the real Abby Lee Miller on Instagram. Her YouTube channel is Abby Lee Miller, and her Twitter, I'm pretty sure, is also Abby Lee Miller. I don't know because I don't have Twitter. And. Yeah, and she is famous. Like, she has it going. And her mom owned a dance studio that was the, became, and later in life it became the ALDC, or Abby Lee Dance Company. But it, it actually is, had, like, the Rain Dance Academy or something, like, some other name for the sign, but that's because it was called that at one point. So... Hmm. And now I'm living a dream of mine and it's really cool. But she's doing a master class now. Here's the question. The big question is, is this going to be the only one that you do? Right now, this is what I'm registering for. We're going to try it, and if this works out, and if this is something incredible, then and we'll talk about more in the future if she does more. I really like it. Or, um, I need to reply to a DM. Wait. Nope, that's someone that started following me. Let's see if I'm going to follow back. Um, probably not. But it's nothing up against this person. Okay. Well. Uh, okay, we'll follow back. But yeah, pretty much what it is that Abby is doing this like class. Now here's the thing with this, I'm going to have to wake up at 7 in the morning because and I have to rush it kind of because, well not really rush it because I'm going to have an hour. Like, but that one hour I got to eat breakfast, I got to take my medicine. And then I might have to skip my personally because sometimes that takes a while. And then maybe if I have time I'll see. And then I have to uh, pick out a leotard. A tarn. Yeah. Have to pick out a leotard and then I like probably some leggings, you know, like pick out like a dance. But then I gotta like do my hair. I might do makeup. I don't know. 
Because I'm probably just going to sweat it off, so, like, I don't know. Because it's three hours. Um, but, yeah, I have to, like, do that. I have to, like, brush my teeth. Like, I got a lot to do within one hour. Or, and that's not all of it, but that's why. Because knowing me, there's other stuff that I'm going to want to do um, before. So, like, I have a lot to do in one hour. And... The reason in your car, like, why 7 in the morning and wake up at, like, 8 or something? Because I'll miss the class. So the class, this is, the class starts at 8 in the morning and goes until 12, like, until 12 um, in the afternoon. I mean, I'm having a late lunch, an early breakfast. I'm going to be starving, kind of. Um... And, yeah, today I'm going to pick up the floor, but, yeah. I'm, like, at this point, if you're wondering, like, oh, should this be something for my kid? Yes, here's the thing. And I hate seeing, and this is true, I'll see it sometime. Like, Abby said she's seen it before. Like, and when some, when a parent wants their kid to go out and be the big superstar, but they won't let them have a TikTok. They won't let them have a channel. Like, they won't do anything to get them to be a superstar. But yet, they want them to be. So, highly recommend. Again, it is $49.99. That's how much we paid. The reason I'm covering up this spot is because uh, it has information. It has my dad's name on it. And Yeah, like I'm being so careful, but thank you because you all really inspired me to just come up and say, "Hey, I want you." Now here's the thing: we looked at doing Zoom classes like for a dance studio near us, but we weren't getting a lot of options, and it also just wasn't gonna be as good as Abby Lee because Abby's the best thing for. Me. My mom is not thrilled that it's Abby doing it, but that's because my mom does. My mom only knows TV Abby. She doesn't see, like, I, she sees the arguing with the moms, that sort of stuff. Uh, she doesn't see, oh, I'm tough, but it's only to make you a better dancer, like, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell you I'm in the processing stage. And it it's currently March 4th. And this is March. So it's March 4th today. And it's March 7th. So, so I have today and tomorrow to prepare. And tomorrow's the 5th and then the 6th. So yeah, I have today and tomorrow to prepare. It's exciting. Really exciting, but it's also sad. Because it's sad in the sense that Bella's not going to get to know. Bella's not going to get to celebrate with me. And, and it's really sad because that's on her. I've been reasonable. I tried FaceTiming Bella multiple times. I tried texting her, FaceTiming her. I heard from her three times. 
within the last six months. And the first time she said, oh, I'm cleaning my room right now. And the second time, and time was just explaining a TikTok to me because I commented on her TikTok and then, and Yeah, so I commented on her TikTok, not knowing, because she was, like, peeling her face off, and I was like, that's not normal. Turns out it's a face mask. And then, then, and, yeah, and then she replied again, and at around, like, the day of her birthday or something, she replied that evening, and saying, and... Thank you for wishing me happy birthday. Sorry I couldn't FaceTime you today. So yeah. I have to be top notch ready. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Show me the notifications that I have. Okay. Very quick. Very. But thank you because you guys pushed me along. And now this is one of my biggest dreams was to be taught by Abby. And now I have an opportunity and I love it. And it's sad that Belle was not going to get to sell with me. Because I reached out to her. I tried to get a hold of her. And before it was somewhat easy because if I didn't hear from her like, I, I would always hear from her, like, the beginning of the month, but now it's not even that, and I don't know. I really want to stay friends, because we're, like, me and Bella have been, like, sisters for years now, like, like, you know, and there's so many times, I mean, we don't even say we're, like, literally, sometimes we just say, and like, oh, hi, sister, or something, like, <laughs> literally, not trying to copy Jane Charles there, but, like, there's so many times when we just call each other sisters, or, and then at the end of the day, we're, we realize we're not, but we can, we can be sisters by the heart, okay? We can be connected be, and be sisters, or because we want to. Um, it just won't be that we're actually sisters because I'm actually her great aunt. Okay. But I'm excited. I'm in the processing stage. So, so like, I, I don't know if I want to run up, run around, if I want to jump up and down, like, if I want to just cry with happiness. And for once, or once, I feel fully excited over something since I lost my crush. And I know he would be so proud. I mean, going for my dreams. 